You may have seen articles or blogs online telling you to not use AI when producing content because it can be detected. This is mostly because a lot of the content produced by artificial intelligence have the same sentence structure. But there is an AI that you can use so that you don't have to worry about this. And his name is Jasper. Jasper is different than other generative AI because of something called Jasper Brand Voice. Jasper Brand Voice is a feature in Jasper that allows you to create content that sounds sounds like you. This means no more AI generated content or copyright that sounds robotic. Jasper brand voice is game changing and in this video I am going to show you how you can level up your content by using it. I will show you how you can define your own Jasper brand voice by setting up voices in Jasper as well as setting up knowledge entries. Let's jump right into it. To get started we will need an account with Jasper. If you don't already have an account with Jasper we have a link down below that you can click and go to to start a free trial. When you click on the link, you'll be brought onto this page. And once you get onto this page, you can click on free trial. And once you click on free trial, it will prompt you to enter in an email or you can continue with Google. Once you enter in your email, it's going to ask you to confirm your email address by entering the six digit number that is sent to your email. So you can go ahead and enter it right here. Once you are done and you have clicked continue, it's going to show you another page where you can see the pricing. Jasper has three three plans, business, pro, and creator, and it offers monthly billing or yearly billing. If you go with yearly billing, you will save 20% off of your plan. If you're just beginning, the creator plan should be good for you. It is 39 per month or per seat, and it includes one user seat, one brand voice. It also includes access to SEO mode and the browser extension. The most popular plan is the pro. It is $59 per month or per seat, and it includes six seats, three brand voices, 10 knowledge assets, as well as three instant campaigns and collaboration and user management, as well as access to Jasper Art. The third plan is a business plan that includes all of these features, but you probably don't need to go with this plan because the pro and creator plans will work just fine. And the pro and creator plans have a seven day free trial that you can get started with. For this video, I am going to use the pro plan. And the reason why I like the pro plan plan is because it comes with 10 knowledge assets as well as three instant campaigns and it's really easy for collaboration and user management and I also like to use Jasper Art so this one would be good for me. Once you're logged in with Jasper, you can go ahead and go into the dashboard. And now I'm going to show you how you can set up your brand voice. Jasper bases its brand voice on three things, tone, style, and knowledge base. You can think of tone as an elevator pitch for your business. So who you're selling to, why your business exists, and how you're helping customers. The next thing is style. Establishing a tone will help with your brand's style of writing. This includes verbiage, grammar, formality, and punctuation. Now the last thing is knowledge base. Jasper uses a knowledge base that you come up with to make sure that all these generations are on topic with your brand. You can add API feeds, URLs, or any other documents to feed your knowledge base so that Jasper is always on topic. Your data is safe with Jasper as Jasper does not use any of your data to train its AI model. Now knowing that, we can go ahead and jump into setting up our Jasper brand voice. In dashboard, to the left, you should see brand voice. You want to go ahead and click on voice. Once you're here, you will see your voices. If you don't have any voices, this will be empty. You can search for any voices that you have, or if you want to add a new one, you can click on add voice. Now, once you click on add voice, this window will pop up and now it asks you what type of content you would like to give Jasper and you can select one that applies to you. Now, this is a really cool part. You can add text, upload a file, or enter a URL that Jasper will scan. I will go over each one of these. So the first one from text, we can click on this. And now it's going to ask you to enter a name for the voice. I have an already existing one, so I'm gonna make this number two. And now for my brand text, I am just going to go onto our website and I am going to copy this and paste it. As you can see here, it allows 7,000 characters. I have 289 right now, 
but I am okay with this. The more characters you have, the more Jasper is going to be able to read the voice or understand the voice that is intended. So now I'm going to click on create voice and it's an analyzing it, detecting the tone, and there you have it. My first website, number two. And after this, click on the three dots right here, click on edit, and this is so cool. You can see that it describes the voice. So let's go back to where I got the text from and I'm going to read it out loud. So building websites can be hard. We make it easy. Expert led tutorials and resources for building your website. And this part is important because it shows our tone ready to build your first website, but not sure where to start. You're in the right place at my first website. We make the process simple, fun, and best of all, super affordable. So let's see what Jasper think this tone or voice is. So we can go ahead and see that this tone is enthusiastic, encouraging, and supportive with a focus on simplifying complex tasks. It's friendly and approachable, aiming to make the reader feel empowered and capable. It is optimistic and energetic and creates a sense of excitement and possibility. And now this last sentence of this paragraph, it's clear that the brand values accessibility, affordability, and user success, positioning itself as a helpful guide in the customer's journey. And now the second paragraph shows us how this tone should be written. When writing in this tone, we should use positive and uplifting language that addresses the reader in a personal and inclusive manner. We should use active voice to create a sense of immediacy and involvement and also highlight the ease and affordability of the company's offering. And we should always emphasize that we are here to support and guide you all. Now, if you don't think that this is correct or you feel that there needs to be some changes, with the voice, you can go ahead and change this. So for example, if I wanted to make it funny, I can go ahead and add funny here and update voice. So now we've generated a voice by using text, but I'm going to also show you how you can upload a file. So now I'm going to add another voice by uploading a document. So you can just enter in a name for this one. And once you're done with that, you can click on upload a document. And just to show you what is in this document, I have it open up right here and it's just a short paragraph describing my first website. You can upload a .text, a .doc, a .pdf, or a .docx. Once you're done, you can click on create voice and just wait for Jasper to analyze your tone. And now we have it here and let's see what it says. As you can see, this is very similar to the first one that I created, but the difference is in the second paragraph where it includes that it avoids unnecessary jargon or technical terms, but the adjectives are very similar, which is supportive encouraging and straightforward. Like I said before, if you don't think this is accurate, you can always change it and click on update voice once you made your changes. And now I will delete this first one and I will add a new voice, but I will show you how you can add a voice using a URL. This is really cool because you can just enter in a URL and Jasper will scan the site. So I am just going to click on our URL and I'm going to paste it here and name it my first website URL. And now it's analyzing the text and detecting the tone. And there you have it. Let's click on edit. And you can see that it's very similar to the ones that we created before, which is straightforward, supportive, and enthusiastic. There are some words that are different than the other voices that we created, but it's probably because we entered in the URL, which has a lot more words that Jasper can analyze. When training Jasper on your voice, you can use social media posts, emails, blogs, or anything that you feel describes your brand voice the best. Now I am going to go over knowledge base. On the side, you can go under brand voice and click on knowledge base. Remember that the knowledge base stores facts about your brand that Jasper can refer to when generating content. You can add anything like your marketing website, your white papers, or your company's mission, values, or pillars. You can also add your product information, competitor research, and other things along those lines. One really cool feature about Jasper is that you can also add Add content structure to your knowledge base. This means that you can provide documentation to show Jasper how it should structure your content. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. You want to go ahead and click on add knowledge. Now, just like how we created our voices, we can add text, upload a file or enter a URL. I'm going to just go ahead, add a text. We're going to name it structure. Emails are always structured with X greeting, have X, Y amount of sentences and a specific closing. Blog posts 
few specific headers, have a targeted word count or specific number of body paragraphs, etc. So you can go ahead and modify this to make it specific to you. Have this as hi friends, let's say four to eight amount of sentences. And for blog posts, I am going to delete all of this and just make sure that it has a specific number of body paragraphs. So for blog posts, I will use five number of body paragraphs. Now I'm done with that. I will go to tags and you can select a tag or create a new one. I'm going to just tag it as structure. The tags will help you find knowledge base entries more easily. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add to knowledge base. And for my knowledge base, I'm going to add another knowledge, enter a URL. For that URL, I'm going to go on to myfirstwebsite.com and I'm going to click on the FAQ section and I'm just going to copy that URL and add it here. Now I'm going to enter a name. So I will do FAQ, my first website. And now I'm going to click on company information for the tags and add to my knowledge base. You can also upload a file. So for example, if you want to upload a mission statement, if you want to upload any resources that describes what your business is about, you can go ahead and do that here. So same as the voice with the knowledge base, you can add knowledge by using a text, uploading a file or entering a URL. And for me, I entered a text and I have a URL for my knowledge base. Once you have added voices and knowledge, you can access it in chat, documents or campaigns in Jasper. And there you have it. You have now set up Jasper Voice to use for generating content for your brand or for your website. And if you use our link down below, we do get a small referral fee with no extra cost to you and it would greatly help our channel so that we can make more free videos like this. If you do use our link, thank you so much in advance and we really appreciate all of you. And if you guys want to create your own website but do not know where to start, we also have a link for that down below where we will help you start up your website. Hope you guys enjoy it and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.